Okay, so today we are doing a cool video. We are cooking up some mashed potatoes over a campfire with a 22 quart pot. It's gonna be cool. But first, my name is Michael and this is Asymmetrical Preparedness. Please hit the like button, share the videos, do the things. Love you guys and stay tuned. Okay. Here is the fire pit. Today, we're gonna make a fire and we're gonna boil potatoes. Big 22 quart pot of potatoes. Make some mashed potatoes. And then we'll have those mashed potatoes to add to all different kinds of dishes when we cook and all that stuff. So here's a firewood. Uh, AP Boy is breaking up firewood from the woods so that we can burn and make some potatoes. Okay, so we're getting the fire pit ready for the potatoes, to cook the potatoes today. So we just did really simple. We know this isn't a, an exercise in how to start a fire, like bushcraft or anything like that. So that's a bunch of torn up old cardboard in there, a bunch of dry twigs and a bunch of dry sticks that we gathered from the woods behind our house. So, like I said, this is not an exercise in how to start a fire in bushcraft or anything like that. Here's the wood we got to go on it, some of it, and we're gonna get to it pretty soon. Okay, so making these mashed potatoes over the campfire. What are we gonna need? Well, I'll show you. We're gonna need a bunch of potatoes, right? We got a whole box here full of potatoes. I'm gonna need a, this is a basically a compost bin to put all the potato peels in. I'm gonna need a potato peeler and I'm gonna need the 22 quart pot to put the potatoes in. So I'm gonna to get to peeling. Peeling potatoes is really easy. There's, see this? There's different attachments, that one, that one. Just use that one. The simple side, there we go. And all you gotta do is go like that, real simple. Very, very simple. I know I don't need to show you guys that <laughs> because peeling potatoes is a very simple thing. But anyway, so I'm going to get to peeling a bunch of potatoes, getting them ready to go in the pot. Then we'll get the campfire started, and then we will get them on to cooking, and I'll show you that. Okay, so as I'm peeling these potatoes, I come across ones like this. What do I do with these? These are good for planting. So keep these. If you're going to be planting potatoes, keep these. If not, just break these little eyes off, and then peel them and use them for your mashed potatoes or whatever else you're doing. But I'm going to plant those. Okay, well this is one of those things, waste not, want not. See that bad spot there? See how it's bad there? Well, here's what you do. Don't worry about it being bad, all right? Just go like that until it's not bad anymore. Don't worry about anything like that. If it's green, just keep peeling until it's not green anymore. Or if there's a cut or a damaged part, just start peeling a bunch of these off until it's gone. I know some people may not know that. That's just why I'm throwing it out there. Some people may not have ever done this before. I don't know. I don't know how you grew up or what your environment is like or anything like that. So I just thought I'd tell you that. Okay, so the continuing saga of making mashed potatoes over the campfire. We got the entire 22 quart um, pot full of skin potatoes. Now I just need to cut them up and then there's the compost bin with all the peelings. There's some leftover potatoes. There's the famous peeler. Another thing about the peeler I can show you is see this little end here, that little tip? You can also use that to dig out little bad spots and eyes and stuff like that. And then here's some potatoes I got sitting off to the side that I might use for planting. Although we got a lot of potatoes planted right now. So that's the update to this point. Okay, so for these potatoes that we're cooking up, we got the fire going, as you can see that nice fire. And yeah, I use the easy method. It's called a lighter. <laughs> know how to do the primitive fire starting techniques, but make it easier on yourself. Be realistic. All right, so what do I got here? We got the pot full of potatoes, all cut up. We got the water in there ready to go on the fire once we have a good bed of coals. So we're just waiting on that right now. Okay, so we got the fire going and we are ready to 
put on the grill. And I learned this lesson on Patreon video that this grill over here would not support the weight of the pan. So, like I showed on there already, I used some Redneck Ingenuity and these are those um, chain link fence dividers or they're part of a chain link fence system. I don't I forget what exactly they're called. So I take them and put them like this. Put them across for structural strength. Then I put the grill on. And that is ready now for me to put the pan or the pot. So here goes the pot of potatoes. Good to go. So it supports the weight really well. So those are lessons learned from my baked or stewed apples over the campfire video that I did on Patreon. Okay, let's check in on these potatoes. We got the good fire going underneath and they're all cut up and it's starting to heat up, starting to boil. So looking good. This is gonna be yummy. Make a bunch of mashed potatoes out of a bunch of potatoes we got from a local farm. All right, so let's check in and see how the potatoes are doing. They're doing really well, as you can see. I got my high speed, low drag um, stirring device here. Let's stir it up a little bit. Oh yeah, look at that. It's starting to really look like mashed potatoes. Over the campfire. You can do this. You can do it, just like I can do it. I've never made mashed potatoes over a campfire. And here I am. Ugh, it's tough to stir it, but you know, that's why we exercise, right? That's why we work out. So this is part of it. Looking really good. Put my stirring storage device back there. And yeah, I'm making a little bit of a mess, but it's all right. I'm pretty much letting the, can the fire die down. I've been putting some little sticks on it here and there to get a little bit of flame going. But I think uh, that's, we're nearing the end point as far as that goes. Okay, mashed potatoes turned out great. Already put them in some, uh, my wife had some uh, ground turkey and onions caramelized, all cooked up with some butter and some chives and stuff like that. Oh man, it was good. So she had some of that in the fridge. So I went over there and I dumped a bunch of the fresh hot mashed potatoes, just mixed it up. My son and my little girl and I, my wife, just chowed on it. It was so good. So we got a bunch of mashed potatoes to make up into other dishes. What we're doing with these kind of things is like doing the baked apples on Patreon and here on these baked, these uh, mashed potatoes here on YouTube. What we're doing is we're making up these like mass quantities of food that we get from local farms. Instead of them going bad or them just throwing them away or letting them rot, they um, have certain programs where they give them away or for like dirt cheap. Um, so all these potatoes, all these apples, that's where we're getting them. So it's basically free food. So I cook them all up, and then what my wife will do is she'll make big baking trays out of them, or, or you know, meal-sized baking trays. Um, fill them up with whatever she comes up with, and then we throw them in the freezer. Cover them with a, you know, a couple layers of tin foil, write down, write on what's, you know, write what it is, write the date, put it in the freezer for longer-term food storage. I get it, it's not really a food storage because it's a freezer. You could have an EMP, you could have grid down, whatever, and you could lose that. Well, not really lose it, but you'd have to start eating it. Um, but anyway, it is part of a well-rounded um, way of going about feeding your family. And we're really budget-minded right now. We're really trying to do things like this because it makes a lot of food for really cheap. So budget, I don't know who's not on a budget when it comes to preparedness. Uh, because even if you have lots of money, if you budget and you do things inexpensively, then you can get more preps. And preps are living insurance. Remember that. Work on your fitness, please. That's also very important. And enjoy. Do things like this. Get out and make a campfire and learn to cook over it. it it's there's some little tricks and nuances and stuff like that that you gotta get you gotta get used to doing because um, you'll be better prepared right? And that's what we do here. We plan ahead, we think ahead. Anyway, please subscribe, hit the like button, comment below, share the videos, do all the awesome things. Thank you guys for being here. Have a wonderful day and blessings to you and yours.